So let's go ahead and, uh, and get started with our, our spotlights this morning. Shutterstock is a, is a company that, uh, that if, if you work in the creative industry, you're probably familiar with it. And, uh, and, and I'm very excited to have the VP of Technology Operations at Shutterstock here to talk with us today. So please help me welcome Chris Fisher. Morning, everybody. <laughs> so a quick show of hands, how many folks in the audience are familiar with what Shutterstock does and, and what the business is? Great, so a fair amount of you. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, Shutterstock is a marketplace where um, photographers, videographers can upload their content and we provide an opportunity for them to be able to sell that content uh, to a broader market segment, people who are, you know, need stock artwork for creating Christmas cards or a PowerPoint presentation um, or doing something like creating a catalog. Um, before we kind of get into that a lot, uh, I want to talk a bit about what OpenStack is doing for our business. Uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a brief background in myself uh, as well as Shutterstock's uh, founding beginnings. So uh, first, a little bit about me. Uh, I've been building uh, scalable systems for about 10 years, uh, as well as the teams that are responsible with managing those systems. Um, from the get-go, I've always been someone that's been really interested in high levels of automation uh, and being able to build uh, a very strong operational organization uh, that can add business impact, not just you know, manage your environment. Um, I'm a huge, huge open source enthusiast. Uh, I mean, there are very few times that you can get me to buy a black box solution unless it's really, really exceptional. And that comes from a real belief that, you know, if things really get tough, uh, you can control your own fate, get into the source code, figure out what's going wrong, uh, and, and really solve your own problems. Um, one other key point is that I have a pretty deep uh, systems and network engineering background. Uh, I'm an ops guy by trade. The only language that I've coded effectively in is you know, C, which is pretty much irrelevant you know, in, in a modern web company. Um, but I'm going to talk a lot about building uh, the type of stack that your developers want to interact with. Uh, I really believe in it. It's, it's done great things at other companies I've been at and at Shutterstock. Uh, and effectively, I think that's one of the key cornerstones of why OpenStack is something that's super effective for us. Uh, as a quick aside, I now spend most of my time, it seems like, uh, learning how to use Excel and PowerPoint uh, and try and explain to the rest of the executives and you know, people out in the industry you know, why these cloud systems are so important and so efficient. Um, so a little bit on uh, Shutterstock's founding beginnings. Um, we were founded in 2003 uh, by our CEO, John Oranger. Uh, he was our first developer. Uh, which from the beginning really created a dev-centric organization. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's from inception to our IPO last October and beyond, we've remained very focused on creating a great, great technology platform that developers really like interacting with. Um, our tech stack, is another kind of note, predates the modern cloud. AWS was launched in 2006, maybe, I believe. Uh, and effectively, a lot of the modern technologies for building a cloud or interacting with the cloud just weren't there when we were already handling pretty large volumes of traffic. So a lot of the needs that we have are solved by OpenStack that provide us an environment that we can create a super usable cloud for developers, but at the same point help us uh, alleviate certain constraints that come from having an application that's uh, been around since pre-cloud days. So uh, inside our organization, we have kind of this developer ethos. Uh, and this isn't it. I, I wish it was this simple. Um, but if you read through that document, you'll find that there are a couple of key themes that just happen over and over again. Um, one, we build things that are core to our business. Uh, a lot of organizations really focus on the product, and I think that's fantastic. Uh, but we really ask ourselves if this functionality is core to our business, uh, orchestration or deployment, or the ability to speed development, we want to be building that. We don't want to buy an, an off-the-shelf solution. Uh, secondly, we want to stay open source. I, again, I kind of talked a little bit about, you know, when things get rough, it's nice to be able to read the source code. But beyond that, it, it, there are great recruiting efforts and, and great capabilities that come out of using community-supported software. 
Um, it's just something I believe so much in, and it's treated us really, really well at Shutterstock so far. Um, three, we want to invest in things that create collaboration uh, and innovation among all the individuals at our organization. Um, people don't talk a lot about how much tooling or your platform is important in that. Uh, it's really easy to think about process or being agile or having you know, Kanban style type groups uh, to really help foster collaboration and innovation. But if you get inside a lot of developers' heads, they, you know, they think about collaboration and innovation via pull requests or working within a technology framework, uh, everyone being able to write and read code. And this is another one of the key points why you know, OpenStack is pretty great for our environment. Uh, and fourth, I think there's a lot of people out here who probably agree with this, just automate everything. If it's something you don't need a human to do it, uh, don't. You'll find something better for that human to be doing you know, other than you know, sitting there and running scripts recurringly at midnight every night. So uh, a little uh, bit about the platform. Uh, it seems pretty easy to upload and download photos and videos, but it is a pretty large system that we've created at Shutterstock. Uh, it's got thousands of nodes across multiple data centers. Uh, we're managing several petabytes worth of storage in an open source technology called MogulFS, um, which is backed by all kinds of heterogeneous disk from you know, white box servers to you know, appliances that we buy from a, a company called CoRaid using ATA over Ethernet. Um, we also collect over a terabyte uh, of logs uh, every single day. Uh, that's about 70 times the volume that the Hubble telescope downloads uh, to Earth. I realize it was put in space 15 years ago and it's in geosynchronous orbit, but still I like that stat, or that stat a lot. Um, and on the op side, as well as the dev side, we remain being pretty language agnostic. Um, we code in multiple different languages. Uh, the key takeaway from our you know, application stack is we really try to go fast. We're pushing code you know, hundreds of times a week, and we needed uh, the type of platform that was going to allow us to do this and get lots of dev interaction. So a couple of challenges. We were trying to work with uh, creating a, an environment that worked in low latencies. Uh, AWS, you can have pretty high latency between nodes. Um, OpenStack, being able to create a cloud environment where things are sitting right next to each other, uh, we could kind of conquer a lot of le or network latency problems. Uh, we also wanted to create an environment where the culture uh, and the workflow of both operations teams and dev teams really was identical. Read the code, you know, the documentation is the code, uh, and, and interact with each other in a way that developers really understand. Uh, the goals, of course, are the same as many of you guys have. Have it be resilient. Um, and, and the other ones that we care about is keep it dev-centric, create an API-driven platform, uh, and work as much as you can with being open source. So this is where everyone's kind of screams like, uh, DevOps, oh, DevOps is the way to do this. And, and I disagree. Uh, I think DevOps is a great idea. But when you have a singular DevOps team, you've just moved responsibility to another group of people that can also write some code. What we really want is a platform that creates a culture and a workflow where everybody effectively plays that role of DevOps. We want our developers, as well as our operations folks, writing code, sharing code, sharing knowledge, uh, whether it's application or the actual infrastructure platform. So um, you know, ultimately, what these things kind of create for your business is an environment where you have a super, super strong staff. Everyone can contribute back to the org. Everyone can write applications. Uh, everyone is able to triage the same, communicate the same. Um, we go crazy collecting metadata from all of these instances to look at uh, efficiencies and resource planning within the groups. Um, and, and it's a really powerful system when you can get everyone really working with the same platform, application side and dev side. So you know, that's effectively, you know, on this slide, when we really looked at what platform was going to help us do this the most successfully, um, we went the route of OpenStack. Uh, it has great community support. We have the ability to get in the code and get dirty. Uh, everyone's building against an API as opposed to looking at using config management systems like Puppet and Chef that may be a part of your environment. But uh, you know, building against an API is something that developers are going to embrace a lot more. Um, everyone can read the code. Uh, and, and effectively, uh, it encourages both ephemeral use and things that don't have persistent data, as well as allowing you to integrate uh, with systems that do have persistent data. So if, uh, thanks. If everyone has any quick questions for me, you can tweet stuff at me or send me an email. It's just chris at shutterstock.com. And uh, thank you very much.
Thank you, Chris. Um, so don't leave yet. <laughs> Uh, so I, when we've talked, one of the things that I've found really interesting is, you know, you're obviously a technologist, and you were throwing out some great stats about the, uh, the kind of environment you're running. But the thing that, uh, that really hit me when, when we talked before was, uh, was you have a business need, which is you have uh, this application that has specific requirements that maybe don't fit into a menu-driven type technology offering. But you have developers who are, you know, developers, <laughs> and, and they want to have an agile environment to work in. And, uh, and so how does OpenStack kind of allow you to, to meet both of those needs in your business? Absolutely. So um, one of the key points that's made OpenStack so successful for us is that at first we thought we could solve this with just config management. We laid down a big puppet tree um, and tried to teach all the developers how to work with a DSL or you know, write scripts to interact with controlling their environment. And uh, it had some good success, but really they kind of hated it. They're like, oh, I just want an API to do this thing. Um, and so effectively, as we've been transitioning our provisioning systems over to using OpenStack, we're able to get everyone to really be excited about, I can just write code uh, that's going to call uh, the OpenStack's API, interact with it, provision my VMs, do all this work that before they had to do in a language that was a little foreign to them and didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, and at the same time, we keep our ops team very happy in that we know a lot about what the metal's doing. <laughs> it's not completely abstracted into a way that we feel we're losing control. Uh, and so it's really helped bring those groups together in just a common language via being API driven. So it lets you keep your application happy, your ops team happy, and your dev team happy. Correct. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Chris. Thanks. So Shutterstock is, uh, is, is focused on um, the, the needs of, of creative types, and, uh, and including individual creatives. The, uh, the next user we're going to bring